guys, it's Gabby, and I'm here with my friend Luis, and we are making date dish. It is this incredibly easy salmon recipe with pasta and a salad. Super easy for you to make for yourself, your significant other, or a crowd. And I'm bringing nothing to the table <laughs> other than the wine. I'm here to learn, Gabby. That's the most important part. <laughs> So this is just a really like beautiful piece of center cut salmon. We're gonna put it in a baking dish. Mm -hmm. And now that my hands are dirty, I'm gonna have you drizzle it with olive oil. Okay. And then we'll season it with a little bit of salt and pepper, pop it in the oven, and that's it. <laughs> We're, I hold, told you I got it. Hold I got it. Hold 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 it. Perfect. So this just has some olive oil, salt and pepper on top of it, and we're gonna put it in a 400 degree oven for 10 to 15 minutes. That's it. Easy. Just cut them Yum. perfect. We'll just toss them all in here when they're done. We're just gonna drizzle it with a tiny bit of olive oil. You go for it. So it's basically like a just a makeshift dressing. I'm gonna put just a splash of red wine vinegar on okay. it. Okay. And then you do the salt, I'll do the pepper. Oh, is that too much? No, it's fine. We'll put this on and then we'll just set this aside for when the salmon's done. Okay. It looks yummy. Just right? that. We have a pot of water on to boil. Yes. We're prepared and ready to go. Prepared. This is fettuccine, but you could use angel hair, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Do a little stir. <laughs> Clearly, we're super prepared. <laughs> if you're cooking for a date, you want to make a bit extra. You yeah, because then you can have a little, little. Yeah, that's like my greatest fear. Yeah, in life. I know. Running out of food. This is my infamous basil vinaigrette, and I say that with absolutely no modesty because it actually will change your life. Okay. It's that good. I'm in. So we're gonna take the top off, and then see all these like stems on the bottom of the basil. Yeah. Just kind of twist off like that. So we'll just put those over there and put the basil into the blender. Okay. I mean, you look like you've done this before. Stop it right now with your flattery. <laughs> okay, and then to that, let's add some salt and okay. pepper. She's giving you the really complicated job. Do you want to do the no, salad and the No, no. <laughs> We're gonna add two cloves of garlic. So both cloves of garlic just go into okay. the blender. And then on top of that, we need a shallot. Cut off the top and the bottom and cut this in half and peel the okay. kind of outer layer off just like you would a regular onion. And that goes in the blender. Why shallots, not onion? Um, just because shallots are a little bit more subtle. They're okay. not as overpowering as an onion. Okay. And then go ahead and start pouring some red wine vinegar in. Just to, I'll tell you when to stop. Like, like a decent amount. Actually, here, let's take the top off. Okay. Because it might take a long time let's otherwise. Let's go crazy. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're doing this. Yep, I'll tell you when. Glug. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> About down to there. Yeah, okay. it's roughly a couple tablespoons. Okay. Three to four tablespoons. I love how slapdash you are. We're just, we're keeping it simple. Yeah. And then we'll put a little olive oil in. It actually smells like Italy. We will use this consistency for the pasta and we'll thin it out a little bit with some olive oil when we use it for a salad. And it's also better for you than pesto because there's no Parmesan and no pine nuts. So it's a little bit lighter, less calories huh. if you care about that. That's good. Yeah, perfect. So these are just like little gem lettuces. Yeah. And we can just trim the bottom off. And then, do you have a little colander or something we yep. can rinse it in? You start with the avocado. I'll do a peach. In half, yes. Yeah, so half. you cut it in half, and then you can twist twist the sides. Yeah. One of my favorite things to eat. I mean, they're the best, Never. right? And you're just gonna go like this. You're blowing my mind right now. Really? Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna take a spoon and just run it around the sides like that and we'll take that little nub off and then you can just take these avocado slices and put them right on top of your salad oh right i've done this before by peeling the damn thing oh that's so much more work yeah so we're going to cut it in half one way and if you can twist it apart oh well this one twisted apart perfectly okay so like Great. that's gorgeous and then you just kind of we'll take this pit out and then we can slice the peach. Just put them on top of the avocado. And I have these gorgeous Easter egg radishes. 
Oh. So I feel like we should do a purple and a pink and a white one. Yeah, right? Okay, trim the top. This we're gonna throw away. It's not that exciting. And then you're just gonna really thinly slice each one. Okay. It's just like really nice and crisp. It, it adds a nice a bit crunch. Like Bugs Bunny. Huh? <laughs> oh, it's carrots. Close enough, close enough. <laughs> this is the most colorful salad I have ever seen. And it was so easy. Rainbow. Though. Yeah. We well, should yeah. take it down to West Hollywood for a night out. We're making it Instagram friendly because the color, it's all about Instagram. So we're just gonna drain the whole thing off right here. Perfect. And then we'll just put the pasta back in the same bowl and we'll toss it with some of the basil vinaigrette until we're ready to start. That looks gorgeous. Delicious. Perfect. Ooh. And you can test salmon. You want it to have a little bit of a give, but okay. you don't want it to be like rock hard. So like this is perfect. Yeah. Yeah, this is like medium. Good trick. Yeah. You want it to kind of feel like this part of your hand. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. So the vinaigrette's in here. You're just gonna yeah. give it a quick toss. Okay. I mean, it's gorgeous. That looks and smells incredible. Right? And then we're just gonna add mm. a tiny bit more olive oil to this to make the dressing. I mean, okay. it's done. We're just gonna thin it out a tiny bit. Okay, yeah, because this is more like a... So that's like a sauce, and now, this, now we've got a vinaigrette. We'll just break up and crumble a couple pieces on top. In your hand? Yeah. I'll eat a little bit. <laughs> Yum. Mm -hmm. Does that not look like the best? Salad you've ever seen. And now it's perfect. Oh, yeah. The most it's time. important time. It's happening. <laughs> Date night for us. Exactly. Transfer that in there. Is this hot? Yes. <laughs> One part I don't need instructions on. Opening the wine. <laughs> this looks delicious it's and it smells delicious. And it was so easy. So we have a farmer's market salad with peaches, avocados, radishes, and goat cheese. Mm -hmm a basil vinaigrette pasta, and a roasted salmon with tomatoes. And wine! Yeah. <laughs> I think this should be our date night. It is. Cheers, guys. Cheers. <laughs>